What's going on YouTube? Justin here, AKA Goofy Skating Lifestyle. Today, I have something very crucial that I wanted to do because I know it is, I know it is extremely hard to drive an automatic transmission vehicle. So, because most people do not drive manual, and most people are driving, you know, park, reverse, neutral, drive, or sport mode, or whatever, park, park, basic, park, reverse, neutral, and drive, which is your two pedals instead of three, your automatic, you've got a steering wheel, you've got an e-brake, your shifter, all your Michelinist bull crap that is obviously really not important apparently so so anyway we've got the car started all you have to do is put the key in i'll show you guys again you have your key you want to put it in one which is just accessory or one which is turning it on two accessory and then three to start so you cranked it you got it to start right and before you get started driving, you want to put your seatbelt on. You want to buckle it in, right? You've got your seatbelt, which is from over here. You've got your lights, which you probably want on even during the daytime. Most people do not teach you that. Now, here comes the most tricky part, is getting it up and moving. So we've got your gas and your brake. So what you want to do is put your foot on the brake, apply pressure put your e-brake down okay most people also most vehicles will have one down here it's just pushing out nope and if you have like a lever you pull it out whatever but for this car it's a handbrake you got it right here just release it down okay now what you're gonna want to do pay real close attention you got it in a park right now okay so you got reverse drive or reverse neutral and then drive so to go straight you want it to be in d which is drive it's also showing up on this cars here the gauges you've got your fuel gauge temperature gauge your speedometer and your rpm all right we've got our steering wheel okay usually want to put two hands on the steering wheel i don't always but I would highly recommend not to put your hand like this or like this. That is probably the dumbest thing you can do unless you have been driving for a long period of time when you need to correct something. If you're driving in the rain or even just on dry concrete for that matter, put your hands, two hands on the wheel and you got your turn signals. I wanna go left. So we're going to use our left turn signal and bring our hands around. There you go. You don't need to accelerate so fast on the road. This is a this is not a racetrack. When you're driving fast, take it to the track. And if you don't take it to the track, there's a time and a place. There's times when you need to floor it. I get it when you're accelerating onto the freeway or whatever. It's understandable. But when you're in the city or when you're in the town, and you're not pulling out in front of anybody there's no need to floor it and get up on people's asses you know just push on the gas pedal and accelerate the way you need to there's no like i said this is not a racetrack go the speed limits the recommended speed limit is 35 here so yeah i just did get up to 40 a little bit not really that crazy there's nobody really in front of me i'm going about 38 miles an hour now, I want to make a left turn here, so I'm going to use my turn signal. I'm about 200 feet from it. Realistically, 150 feet is your answer. Apply pressure to your brakes, slow down, and use your steering wheel to turn into the turn. Make sure you stay within the lines, of course. And what you're going to want to do is get back up to your speed that you were going or if it's a slower speed limit, which this is 25. I wanna take a right, so I'm gonna take a right here. 
and this is very very carefully pay attention i want to make a u-turn i'm still going to use my turn signal pay attention for oncoming vehicles we've got a stop sign here hit the brakes use your turn signal come to a complete stop look direction to direction make sure nobody's coming and you're free to go and then go back into the right side of the road this is america not britain or wherever the heck you are if you're in america we drive on the right side of the road and we have life and drive cars i'm coming up to another stop sign about 150 200 feet use my turn signal I'll apply the brakes slowly as much pressure as needed to come to a complete stop Okay, I'm gonna turn right and we're gonna go and stay within the yellow, double yellow lines because this is a one lane road. For example, if you wanna hop onto a two lane freeway or are going onto a freeway from a left hand turn, you wanna stay in the far, li far left lane once you're turning and then merge over to the right with your turn signal. When you are turning on a right turn, onto a two-lane roadway or three-lane roadway turn to the farthest right lane with your turn signal and then accelerate and once you're ready to move over and you're safe to move over you can use your left turn signal to move over slowly and responsibly into the next lane to travel at a higher rate of speed that's what a lot of people do not understand on today's road the carelessness in today's world is absolutely insane if you have your driver's license i really hope you know the basics of how to drive an automatic am i the best driver in the world either no does everyone make mistakes yes absolutely did i make this video as a gag and a joke because people do not know what they're doing yes to an extent degree maybe i shouldn't have made it because to some people it might not be um I guess what you call very humble and sounds like I have a big ego but to be honest an automatic vehicle if you know if you have seat time and you know what you're doing there really shouldn't be too many mistakes I mean yes things happen and I've made mistakes before too but most of them can be easily corrected and I have corrected myself numerous of times that I've made those mistakes and will continue to learn and progress off of each and every mistake. I've been driving for a little over six years now and do a lot on the road. I've traveled a lot of times throughout my life alone and with friends or with my family. Um, so I want people to respect the road just as much as I want to because I am on the road a heck ton. So if you want to go fast take it to the track there's no need to be up on people's asses and in a hurry you know use your turn signals keep your eyes on the road there's no need to do none of this i know we all do it and i tell myself this all the time put the phone down put the phone down when you got you know when you're a woman and you want to do your makeup please put it in park and park your vehicle in a parking spot parking lot or do it at home before you go into work or whatever the heck you're doing please do not need to look at this when you're driving or at a stoplight or whatever the heck you're doing just go to point a to point b as safely as you possibly can and uh hope you all are enjoying the content so far hope this is funny to most because most people know how to get in an automatic and drive it i'm going to be doing a better in detail video of how to drive stick legitimately only because i know not everyone knows how to drive stick and that's understandable that that that's kind of understandable um but uh without further ado please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace